Alrighty guys, so it is 10, 11 at night. I'm home after a long day of shooting, but I just had to make this video really quick. So I just pre-ordered the Fujifilm X-T4 last night, like as soon as it dropped. And I kind of wanted to talk about the reasons why I decided to pre-order the Fujifilm X-T4 and also why I'm considering selling my X-T3, even though I really, really love this camera. I've been shooting with the X-T3 now for over a year and it's just kind of become my baby, but I think I might sell it because I think the X-T4 just kind of picks up where the X-T3 left off. So I'm gonna go over some of the specs and features that the X-T4 has to offer. So the first and the biggest reason why I'm probably gonna be selling my X-T3 and I, why I did pre-order the X-T4 is for that articulating screen. So right now I'm shooting on the Canon EOS R and the whole reason I bought it, no joke, was just for that little articulating screen on the side because I wanted to do YouTube content and filming YouTube content by yourself without a flip out screen is really hard as I discovered. I tried to film a video up in Big Bear uh, as a vlog with the X-T4 and I think I cut my top of my head out of the frame. Uh, it was just an accident, I couldn't see what I was filming so I really, really am excited for the flip out display on the Fujifilm X-T4 plus it also looks really nice and rigid in some of the photos I've seen and some of the videos as well. I was kind of glad that it's not the same kind of screen that we have in the X-T3 and I thought maybe this was just gonna, instead of flipping out halfway like it does like this, it would just flip out all the way but it's not, it's a lot like the Canon flip out screen, so I'm really excited for that. Another big thing coming out with the X-T4 is a five axis image stabilization built in on the sensor, which is really, really big. The X-T3 does not have in-body image stabilization, so I'm really excited to see that being added to the X-T4. Plus, if you have a lens that has OIS, paired with the X-T4 with that stabilization, I think you're gonna have buttery smooth footage handheld, which is a huge plus. This one's kind of a less obvious thing, but it is kind of a really cool thing that they're adding with the X-T4, and that is gonna be a heftier build. So the X-T3, the grip right here, it's just not very well defined. It's not that it's bad, um, but it's definitely smaller than I would like, especially for someone with my size hands. So I do like that it's going to have a heftier build, and the reason why it's gonna have a heftier build is because they're going to be giving out new batteries. Instead of these batteries that it used to have, it's going to have a much bigger battery that's gonna give you about 50% more power than the X-T3 had, which I'm really excited for that. Now, interestingly, the X-T4 will not have a new sensor or a new processor. It's actually the same sensor and processor that's in the X-T3, which is a little bit of a bummer, but that's not too bad because the X-T3 has a beautiful sensor and it's a very powerful processor, especially for the size. So that's not the biggest deal in the world. Plus, you're gonna be getting a new film simulation, which looks really nice. I've been seeing some photos trickling out online, and I've been really impressed with what it looks like. It called, what was it called? It was called like the bleached uh, classic chrome, I think, or something like that, bleached Eterna. I don't know, I'll put it up on the screen. It looks really, really beautiful. Now, even though we're not getting a new processor, we are getting improved frame rate. So it has all the same frame rates that the X-T3 was boasting with like 4K 60 and 120 frames per second in 1080. It also has 240 frames in 1080p, which is really, really exciting. Now, unfortunately, the Fujifilm X-T4 will not have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. They are opting to only go with a USB-C port. And if you want to monitor your audio, you're gonna have to use a dongle to go from USB Type-C to 3.5 millimeter. I think this is kind of silly. It kind of reminds me of when, I think the iPhone 7 came out. Was the iPhone 7 the first phone that didn't have a headphone jack? I feel like they're advancing into the future before already, just like the iPhone when everyone was freaking out about that. Uh, I kind of feel like it might be the same thing. Maybe the world is moving to USB Type-C to monitor audio, but I feel like it might be just a little bit early. Oh well, it's not the biggest deal, but it is a little bit annoying. And lastly, and definitely not the most important, it's gonna have a sleeker silver design, which of course, you know, I love the silver. It also has black, which looks really cool, but the gray silver, that uh, the Fujifilm X-T4 is going to be in. Looks really, really nice, it's a little bit darker, and I think that that looks really nice and classy. So in short, I think that the Fujifilm X-T4 is really just picking up where the X-T3 left off, which is to be expected, but it really ticked all of the features that I personally was looking for, and the whole reason, again, why I bought the EOS R, for that flip-out display. So because the X-T4 came with that flip-out display, I just had to pre-order it, it had to be mine, and now I feel like 
I don't know, do I even need the X-T3? It might be nice to keep around. I can't decide. I might be selling both my R and my X-T3. Let me know down in the comment section what you think I should do. I'm still a little bit unsure. But if you guys are excited for the X-T4, drop me a like. I know I'm excited. I pre-ordered it within five minutes and I cannot wait for that package to arrive. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and as always, thanks for hanging.